welcome back. I'm Eileen Judd, the Busy Money Bee, and I'm cutting my husband and my son's hair today. So I sprayed his hair first with a sprayer. I'll try to link it down below. It's a nice mist sprayer that sprays well. And then um, I started cutting with a 1/8 inch, and I'm just going around like maybe almost to the top of his ears, and I'm trying to keep it straight, like not against the skin. Just go up so it blends up into the hair just go up straight and then off the head so it has a nice blend and so I've learned this technique from um, another professional hair cutter I'm not a professional hair cutter cutting the hair you start with the bottom part and then work your way up so that's how I'm doing it and so yeah, right now I'm using the 1 8 inch. Look at my kiddo. And now I'm using the uh, 1 quarter inch um, thing. And it, it is just doing the same thing. I'm going straight up and not over the head, just straight up up off the head to blend the hair up so when I cut the top it won't look funny and I mean this if you want to stop here after this thing like his my husband's hair is longer maybe he could have just kept it longer on top but we like cutting this hair short and it grows out and so we cut his hair every month or so Here I'm just working on the back of the hair where the normal cow look is. Just trying to go at the grain of each way the hair is going so I get a, a nice looking blended cut but not going too far up. And so I'm just tidying up the area right here. Now I'm doing three quarters of an inch on top because at least for him we decided that one inch was too long but a half inch was too short so three quarters of an inch is what we do for his top. Is that look good? He's silly. Going through and I'll go through multiple times to get the hair because even if the razor is good it's just got so much hair that I have to go back and forth because sometimes some hair didn't come up like it should have when we were going through but this is a vacuum razor just so you know so it sucks up all the hair we just have the, the um, Mock smock on just in case. It's a very useful tool. And honestly, I learned how to start cutting hair, my husband's hair, um, without any tutorials. I I just I just experimented on him. But he's he was okay with it. It's so over the years. I, I've learned just by doing, so just do. So now I'm just taking scissors and trimming around the ears to get to the hairs that I 
couldn't get to because I don't like using that ear the ear adapter to go around the ears because it leaves a, a line and I don't like that and this makes it look more seamless this way and a lot cleaner so I, I like just trimming it with some scissors. Voila, all done. All right, now I'm gonna start by spraying my son's hair. And I'm gonna just trim up the sides because I like his top a little long. I like the little bangs in front. And they look cute, so I'm just trying to blend straight up, I think I'm using a inch or a half inch on his side. Because younger kids, the um, things look short, too short or too long depending on their head size. talk to the camera, it's adorable. Right here I'm just trying to get to the bottom part of his head. He's got a round head in the back and it's just the way he holds his head up it makes it hard to get to the hair near the bottom of his neck to cut and so just trying to clean that up and that's pretty much what I'm doing. Doesn't he look adorable? Oh, 
Remember to like this video and hit subscribe. Watch one of these videos here, just picked for you. I'll see you in the next, see you next Tuesday. Bye.